Hi guys, so welcome to the second part of the Southern Shaolin Kung Fu application. Uh, so again, I got uh, after yesterday's video, I got two questions. One is was from the Hunga Tiger and Crane, uh, how to use the, the crane movement effectively, and when we start the form, what is the meaning of this? Okay, and what is the meaning of this for salutation? And from the 18 Lohan. We had the movement this one and this movement and the hands like this to opening. So I'm going to show each one of the applications one by one. I'm going to start with the, the tiger and crane, the basic opening form. Okay. So I have Neil with me, my instructor. So we'll do it slowly for you to understand. So we get into boxing position. Left leg lead, okay. It can be right leg lead also, doesn't make a difference. So if it's okay for if it's if it's a right leg lead, again you don't fight straight, okay? So a boxer will snap jab fast, okay? So this one comes to the center line, but you look at me, my center changes towards the shoulder. So I'll do it slowly first, you'll understand one, and then press, and this one goes into the eye or the thumb. Mm -hmm. So I go open, I press, I hit. Now just in case he blocks this one, you press this one. And you take the throat out. If he's a left leg lead, okay, and he gives a jab cross, you hit this one. He blocks this one right away. You go inside and grab, take the throat out right away. There is a similar application in the 18 Luhan, like Hung Kyung, which is parry, grab, grab. Okay, now there's two ways of using this one is instant going towards the kid. This is when he gives a jab cross to me, you see, I go. And now look at my zone, which is this side. I'll do it slowly for you to understand. You see, this one is directly, and then I pull the throat, so it's taking the throat out. Okay, one more time. One, the throat comes out. You can do it from the left. You see, this one can go to the eye, cross the eye, or go directly to the throat, and take the throat out. And that's my position. And from here, if you want to pull a lap sound, you see, I can pull him and I lap, I can pick him here and go in here and break this one. Ah, so next, I'm going to talk about the, the crane movement, okay? This is called the crane beak. Okay, generally, when the punch comes, we can use the technique like this, but it's not safe because there's a cross coming towards the face so technically it's much safer when he jabs I go here you see when he jabs jab again jab oh you see now I'm here because that punch becomes redundant from there slow so I go here boom that one goes to the eye right away or you can use inside the throat since the crane and this is a very dangerous ah. spot to hit but I'll just show you how to go in and outside he goes jab cross I go inside to hit. Now this crane beak can also represent a straight punch, you see? And then he needs to block this one. Now once this is stopped, oh, then I'm gonna put this side to hit. So if you're into boxing, you can change this technique, okay? Watch this one. So one, two, hit, he stop. And this is the tiger, okay? Oh, you see? Uh -huh. you the uppercut. So you have one, and then you have the two. So the traditional technique was one, two, hit, to change, turn it into the eye, because it's not a sports. So we would use, I still use it, use it many a times. Okay, then, this is from the Ketu Mohan technique, okay, this is called the Phoenix Finger. So mostly, all we use the pouch one, the leopard fist is also in Hong Kong in five animal, five elements, okay, sub-king form. So, so when he gives me a jab, see it's important to move the body jab. Oh, this one goes into the floating your pitch. And the same thing, the Phoenix finger, it's very dangerous. Okay. So the jab cross, you see, look at my position. That's the position. Jab cross, you see. This one, this is very, very dangerous one. So again, and I hit and I stop this. When he stop this one, and I shoot this one to the floor, but look at this. I break his thumb at the same time. So we have the 
method of grabbing chinda and striking at the same time and in Aki Lohan everything you see you open the hands are like this so sometimes you are standing like this and the guy uh, the guy uh, gives a jab cross no and I'm coming here but I see him coming to swing so he can go one two and then he can do a swing one two you see then my hands open here right away once it's open from it you grab okay. this you see you can off balance him or from here pull the elbow and then headbutt then you push the guy you throw him right away so you have this double striking now uh, one of my favorite moves is also this one uh, this 18 lohan is three one two three set moves okay so once you are here and you stay here and you know, somebody is say that you know how do you use this so i'll just show you it gives a jab cross you see you roll you trap now why we do this look at this oh this one is a kick to the groin and that's a bait so it's moving boom this can be on the plexus can be on the groin right away okay so that's one and the another move one of the person asked me which i showed was this move for making the so right leg beat for example and it's done both sides so when he shoots a jab you see this one raises to meet the center line move and this one comes to the gun okay okay go slow this is the kick to the face now watch it hey you look at the position of my leg right of the kick so, oh, yeah. and throw the person over but if it's a left leg leap and he jabs a slip parry lift I lift this one, I slap the kidney and I sweep same time. So that's one of the moves and it's extremely uh, painful. Double butterfly, okay. You go ahead and then you move from here. Parry, open and hit this one. So once he gives me a jab cross, jab cross, you see, I can off balance the person. So this one, jab cross cross, you see, that's a double parry. Now once this happens, I trap this one, oh, and I hit, he blocks this one, and then I hit the phoenix ah, on the face right away, okay? So that's a very, very powerful strike. So uh, I'll show you one last two applications, which I asked. One was the splitting gold element, okay? And the other is the snake animal, which is one. So this is one, this is two, and this is three from 18 to one. So uh, it's very much similar to Wing Chun. You see, when you trap, you do Park Sao and then you can do Park Sao, and you can do Park Sao and then you can do Lop Sao. Whereas in 18 to one, is when he punches me, you know, I go outside. You see, like a snake which is going towards the eye. Now, for obvious reason, he's going to block this one. I do it slowly. As soon as he goes, you see, I trap this hand, boom, this. So it's one. It's two and then it's a three. So slowly. So I go one, okay. Yeah. Now I move this hand and he takes his hands down to block this one. Yeah. So once this one is blocked and then I grab this one. So one and then I go two. So I go one, I block, I go two, he blocks. So you look at this, the power is going and then I go three. Grab this one and then break this arm. Okay? So one, two and three. Splitting gold. From Pongchun. Okay. This technique. This, this technique I like really a lot. So when somebody punches, you see, you're not using boom. So step inside to punch me. You see? Very easy. Now, why we do this? Punch. Oh, that's the hit to the face right away. And boom. That's, that's a hit onto the face. So slow motion. So you can go one, hit, bam, hit to the face, same time. So this is split go. So you go one, two, three, four. The second application to this is one, two, three, four. So when he goes a low jab, boom, you hit, you see? You go one, and then you go. Hit trap inside. So like this, uh, people have a myth that Kung Fu is useless. It cannot be used in a fight. So my suggestion is, and my take on this is, Every martial arts is good. Not everybody wants to become a combat sports guy. 
you know some people teach martial arts for the love of it some people teach because they get good health out of it some people teach the traditional method and are able to bridge the gap between modern and traditional like i do because i do sancho i do muay thai and you know i i have my own system and i do a lot of other systems i'm able to bridge that and i take the traditional technique and i insert into the modern styles inside to use it because i know how the boxes move so that that is how things work so like for example i'm just going to show you when you do piggy tosha kali you do a lot of elbow destruction you see one of the systems called defense lab they do a lot of elbow destruction even we have in our southern shaolin you see eighteen lohan so you go one two and then you go three from there what is this technique just to finish it up when the guy come we are fighting and she comes in with a jab swing you see you break that one so go swing on my face you see you block this to grab this one one two boom that's the destruction on this elbow okay you go slow now One, two, elbow, and then hit the groin. As you hit the groin, yeah. you see you hit the neck right away. The second part is you go jab cross straight. Ah, oh, you break that one. And it's gonna go. He goes jab cross. You go the other side. Oh. Okay, so guys, thank you for watching. And if there is any other question, write an email to me uh, at kigonkanishka@gmail.com. Uh, if you want to learn practical Shaolin martial arts. come to me i'll teach you i'll share with you whatever i know thank you so much